Hi, I am Lei Kei, a second year PhD student at HKUST. In this talk, I am going to introduce a novel bilayer convolutional network, BCNet, for handling heavy occlusion cases in instant segmentation using image layers decoupling. Mask RCNN and its variants have demonstrated notable performance. However, we note that most incremental improvement comes from better backbone architecture designs, with little attention paid in the instance mask regression after obtaining the ROI, region of interest, features from object detection. We observe that a lot of segmentation errors are caused by overlapping objects, especially for object instances belonging to the same class. We model image formation as composition of two overlapping layers as simply illustrated in bottom right figure, and propose bilayer convolutional network, BCNet, where the top GCN layer detects the occluding objects, occluder, and the bottom GCN layer infers partially occluded instance, occludi. We validate the efficacy of bilayer decoupling on both one-stage and two-stage object detectors with different backbones and network layer choices. Extensive experiments on COCO, KINS and COCO A show that our occlusion-aware BC net achieves large and consistent performance gain especially for heavy occlusion cases. BC net with bilayer occluder occludi relational modeling consists of three modules. First, backbone with FPN for feature extraction from input image. Second, detection branch for predicting instance proposals. Third, BC net with bilayer GCN structure for mask prediction. For cropped ROI feature, the first GCN explicitly models occluding regions, occluder, by simultaneously detecting occlusion contours and masks, which distills essential shape and position information to guide the second GCN in mask prediction for the occludi. We utilize GCN in our implementation because GCN can consider the non-local relationship between pixels, allowing for propagating information despite the presence of occluding regions. The mask head design of mask RCNN and its variants directly regress the occludi with a fully convolutional network directly on the input single-layered image or only regress both modal and immodal masks from the occludi which neglects both the occluding instances and the overlapping relations between objects. To mitigate this limitation, BCNet extends existing two-stage instance segmentation methods by adding an occlusion perception branch parallel to the traditional target prediction pipeline. Thus, the interactions between objects within the ROI region can be well considered during the mask regression stage. Squared heat map visualizes the contour and mask predictions by the two GCN layers for the occluder and occludi in the same ROI region specified by the red bounding box, where GCN1 detects occluding regions while GCN2 models the partially occluded instance. The bilayer modeling also makes our BC net more explainable than previous methods. In Table 1 and 2, we validate the efficacy of explicit occlusion modeling on the first GCN layer and the second GCN layer respectively. In Table 3, we not only show that bilayer structure could benefit both the FCN and GCN layers, but also investigate the the advantage of GCN over FCN. In Table 4, we show BCNet as general to different object detectors. BCNet achieves state-of-the-art performance on three large-scale benchmarks COCO, KINS, COCO A on the challenging COCO leaderboard. BCNet demonstrates its effectiveness by outperforming both PANET and MASK scoring RCNN by 1.5 AP using faster RCNN, and exceeding center mask by 1.3 AP using FCOS. We show qualitative comparison of center mask. Mask scoring RCNN and BCNet on images with overlapping objects on COCO dataset with different object detectors. For example, BCNet decouples the occluding and occluded baseball players in similar clothes into GCN1 and GCN2 respectively, and detects the left leg missed by center mask. We also show the qualitative comparisons on and KINS and COCO A respectively. Take the first case in bottom row as an example. Our BC net infers more reasonable immodal car shape even when the front part of the car is heavily occluded by the standing woman. Thanks for your listening. We hope this effective approach will benefit future research in both occlusion handling and instant segmentation. Please refer to our paper and project page for more details.